Well, it's probably always good to look at your ethics laws and, and make sure they're appropriate for the times. Uh, the, ch the change was made in the Senate rules, right, the last day of the session. And in my mind, the timing could have been a little better. They could have done a little earlier to where there was an opportunity to have a little better debate. But the, the, uh, the necessity to make the rule change to where uh, a single accusation can't be made by a single senator right prior to election and cloud the integrity of that uh, legislator without some due process, I think, was the right thing to do. Uh, they broadened up the ethics uh, a little bit about what what qualifies. Um, there's some other things that can be done and should be done uh, going forward. I think campaign contributions uh, during the session ought to be reported in a more timely manner, and we've we've talked about that before. Um, the main thing is that there's some transparency and that, that the voters ultimately make the decision whether they want to retain or not retain uh, the legislators. I, some of the things that are talked about, I frankly think that the media should do. Um, uh, I was, when I was in the Senate, I was from Canyon County and the Press Tribune always asked us, have you got outstanding judgments, are you paying your taxes? Uh, I think some of the burden on ethics should uh, be in the hands of the of the uh, media that they should ask those questions. Um, we can do it by law, but I always opt to, for a transparent area to where free enterprise does it rather than the government. 